Hi, my name is Shane Tecklenberg. This is how you download the M800 software from the MoTeC website. First you navigate the internet to the MoTeC Australia website and go to the download section. That's this button up here on the right. And then we'll navigate through the list of all the software that they have available to M400, 600, M800, ECU Manager 3.4. If we click this link another little window comes up wants to know if we want to run or save this program we're gonna save it and typically I would save it to my desktop so you can choose your desktop that makes it easy to find I'm gonna cancel because I already have downloaded the software so it doesn't take as long once the software is downloaded you'll have an application icon like this on your desktop um, in this case it's M800 341 G2 so if you double click that the installation for the program will start to run and you'll choose run here and answer the appropriate questions, click next and so on and um, I already have it installed so I'll choose yes to all and of course we're going to switch to the standard Windows um, program installation screen here in a second just let this finish next here let it copy the program files doesn't take too long. Now we're doing communication drivers. Once it's completed it's gonna come and ask me if I want to view the readme file and if you want to view the readme file you can leave it checked on here and click finish or you can check it off. I've already seen the readme so I'm gonna click finish. Now at that point on my desktop I will now have a um, M8, uh, M MoTeC ECU manager shortcut that's probably fairly unclear but also in the start menu if I go to programs MoTeC uh, I have M400, 600, 800 you can see I have multiple versions here but the 3.4 version is here so if I click this button or if I click the shortcut on the desktop at some point here it'll open it'll open the software so now I know it's installed if I want to actually open a file to do tuning I can go to the file menu open file if you just downloaded the software of course you won't have this many files to look at but I've had the software for a couple of years so I have plenty of files but that's how you don't download the program from the website